thank everybody for coming out and being a part and to be able to see the vision of uh, our community. Our community is uh, an important community. It's a community where we all can come together and join together and be together as one. And that's what we're all about. That's what CAP is all about. CAP is about citizens of our progress. And we're looking for volunteers every single day, looking for help in making a difference here in the community. We know that there are, uh, our vision of our swimming pool, our recreation center needs improvement. Uh, we just need a whole lot in this community. And the only way that we're gonna get this community up and the plan the way it needs to go, then we all need to work together in order to do that. How many of you agree to that? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said it best, where there is no vision, you know. And I, in the cap, as being citizens of our progress, is about a vision. And that vision is to see our community grow, to be able to our city leaders, to be able to be in contact with our city leaders. We got our new sheriff here, Jason Parker. We have our mayor, our new mayor here, Ray Hubbs. We, we just, we, we want to see our community grow, okay? So in order for us to do that, then we must work together as one, right? All right, so that's what we want to do as a community, as a whole. So again, I welcome you all out to our Harvest Moon Night 2019, and we look forward to 2020, right? So we're going to make it bigger and better for our community, right? That's what it's all about. Okay, so we're gonna uh, move it on to our, we have our MC, uh, which is Mr. Uh, Pastor Ted Lewis, so I'm gonna put it back in the hands of uh, Pastor Ted Lewis. And again, thank you. I wanna thank you very much. So at this time, we can ready to have our opening prayer. We're gonna ask Deacon Bean, would you lead us in our opening prayer, and then we're going to do our national anthem, baby. Let us pray. <laughs> Once again, a few of your humble servants to gather in fellowship in your name for this national night out. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless the proceeding, bless each and every one that is represented here, and Heavenly Father, lead us and guide us in the way that you would have us to go. Heavenly Father, we know that we're coming up on an election and we want everyone in here to go and voice their choice. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the representatives and the officers that have been elected. Heavenly Father, we ask you to please sir, throw our hedge protection around them and lead them and guide them in the way you will have your people go. Heavenly Father, we now want to bless this food for nourishing my body and our body for your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Will you please stay standing for the national anthem? Join in and I will lead. <clears throat> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light was so
welcome our Mayor, Mayor Huddleston, for being a witness this evening. And we're going to ask our Mayor, would he like to have a word? And then while he's on the way, we also will, we're going to hear from Nicole Fraser, Councilwoman here, representing us here. Amen. Amen. Thank all of you for first responders for being here. Okay, thank y'all. I'm really proud of y'all getting together like this and showing some support for, for Spring Hill. All of us need to get together and work toward the betterment of Spring Hill. I've been in office now 10 months, and um, it's a job. It really is a job, but I'm doing the best I can, and uh, I hope to do a lot more. But uh, I'm really proud of y'all. I'm particularly to be here with a new sheriff, Jason Parker. So. And my councilman, Nicole Frazier. So thank y'all for asking me here. And so at this time, we would like to hear from Nicole Frazier, and then we hope to hear from our new sheriff, Jason Parker. Amen. Amen. Um, first of all, I'm so grateful to be here today uh, around such great people. So give yourselves a hand. You look real good, handsome and beautiful. Um, on behalf of our mayor and the city of Spring Hill, uh, we bring you greetings. So glad that you could come out and support CAPS. We salute their leadership for their efforts in making everything possible. So again, I say you are truly welcome. You know, when Terrell sent me an invitation uh, about having this tonight, any time that we've got food and fellowship, you can count me in. But it's, uh, it's, it's an honor to be here with y'all tonight, super excited about just the community event, because, I mean, you cannot get any better than getting the community together. Uh, the kids are having a good time and playing together and having the, uh, the elected officials come out and be with y'all. If y'all have any questions for me later on, just let me know. But I tell you, it's a, it's a blessing for me to have this election over with, and I look forward to serving y'all for the next four years. Uh, and y'all have a friend in me. My door's wide open. Uh, I have a open door policy. So y'all come see me, talk to me. If y'all have any problems or issues, I'm a friend, and I'll be here for you. And y'all have a blessed evening. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. all of you for being here and we want to thank all of you first responders for coming out let's give our first responders a first and amen you know sometimes we really don't think about it but you know we need our firemen we need our policemen we need our sheriff's department and we need our ems because things happen in life but it's good to know that we have individuals in our community that are looking out for our safety and not only our safety, but our health as well. Amen? Amen? Because things do happen. But it's great when we do have them. But also, I just want to say thank all of you for being here and supporting one another. Amen? Amen. And amen. So at this time, we're getting ready to come into an area that I think all of you are very familiar with. And I'm going to ask the member from our medical profession if they hear what they would like to have a word. Whether you're in EMS, 